Well, in the piano groove course here, we're touching on all kinds of different aspects of playing New Orleans. Not just New Orleans piano, really, but New Orleans music in general, but specifically concentrating on the piano. And if you want to break them down, you could break them in half percussion and harmony. But we'll get to look at some of the history and the basic flavors and ingredients that make New Orleans music what it is. And that's what we're trying to get to today. A 12 bar blues in simple form might be something like this. Substituting a B flat for an F minor and then C and you can do this, something like this if you like. There are a few varieties but the one that people associate most with Fats and New Orleans is this. When you're playing it, you've got to put some feeling into it and some swing. So you lay pretty heavily into this. That's the left hand pattern. How you slur is important and that's entirely up to you. That can be... Or... In this lesson, we're going to talk about funk and how funk relates to the piano. And a lot of funk records would often revolve around a riff. There's a meters tune, for example, it goes. Somewhere in the middle. The famous riff is. Because in New Orleans, music is the soundtrack to your everyday life. Music has to be played well, but most importantly, it's got to be a lot of fun. To play it right, you know, if you really want to play it right, you have to become a New Orleanian. And I've lived here most of my life at this point, and um, more than half a lifetime of drinking the water and uh, stumbling with a beer in your hand in second line parades over broken sidewalks and staying out till six o'clock in the morning listening to the Neville Brothers or Earl King or whoever it might be. All that stuff gradually builds up and it just informs the way you play and put some of the, the grease in between the cracks. And um, so I'm still out, still down here trying to figure it out. <laughs> I'm getting there gradually. <laughs> 